There we go, just look at that. Oh yeah, there we go. Put look it in a nice that. bun. All right, now we're gonna get some of these caramelized onions up on here. I'm expecting some big flavor coming out of this sandwich right now. All right, here we go. Yeah, man, that goes good, Is that man. what it is? That goes hard, <laughs> man. What's up, everybody, and welcome to another special episode of America's Best Restaurants. Right now, we're in Plantation, Florida, as we are here visiting Dutchie's Gourmet Sausages, where they specialize in British and South African cuisine. And I'm gonna keep it G with y'all. I have very little experience with South African cuisine, so this is gonna be a new experience for me. So let's go inside, have some fun, and get to the eating. Natasha, Isaac, right? Yes, sir. Oh, man, I'm so glad to be here today. Glad to have you. Welcome, welcome. Welcome by Dutchies. I'm, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> That's Afrikaans <laughs> for welcome. I don't have anything cool to say. I'm sorry. That sounded way cooler than anything I got right now. <laughs> well, I'm glad to be here. You know, this is my first opportunity trying South African cuisine. Um, first time being immersed in South African culture. And I noticed that I've seen a lot of people coming in and out of here. So you guys are really popular apparently. I think we are, yes. It's a, it's a great gathering place for not only South Africans, but for a lot of South Africans in the area. And it is seasoned, so there's a lot of South Africans down here from the cold places. And I'd love to hear that. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna be talking to you a little later when I eat some of my food that I'm gonna be smashing. I know you're pretty busy, Isaac, so I don't know if we're gonna be able to see you later, but I'm glad to see you, man. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, well, I'm pretty hungry. I wanna get back in the kitchen and get something to eat. Chef Vince, what you about to make for me right now? I'm gonna make you a traditional South African Gatsby, um, just with a little bit of a flair to it, um, just my own little touch. When you said Gatsby, I was waiting for Leo DiCaprio to come out here, but you're telling me we're getting some sausage, so I'm ready for it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our sausage. Okay. It is served with fries. And then uh, we're just gonna toast the bun a little bit because who likes a soggy bun, you know? Of course. So the chutney aioli is uh, homemade here as well. So we have a chutney called in South, in South Africa called Mrs. Balls, believe it or not. And it's, it's a fruit chutney made out of peaches. So what mm. I did is I made a nice little aioli and then I just added a bit of that chutney in just to give it that little bit of a local flavor, you know? Oh. And then what we have over here is gonna send you on. This is a cowboy candy, which is actually Candied jalapenos, which I top it all off, off with. Over here we have our chutney and holy. So it's, it's sweet with a little bit of sand to it. Okay, nice, there nice. A little flipping the onions again, like it ain't no problem. Just <laughs> all over with it, yes sir. There we go, just look at that. Oh yeah, there we go. Put look it in a nice that. bun. All right, now we're gonna get some of these caramelized onions up on here. I'm expecting some big flavor coming out of this sandwich right now. A little bit of cowboy candy. Yeah, it's like a take on the traditional uh, sausage and peppers that, you know, known in Philadelphia, known in Chicago and stuff like that. Except for the pepper here, it's candied jalapenos and they also still have the fried onions. And instead of like a mustard, you have a chutney aioli. So that is the primary difference. Plus, these are personal recipes that we're about to eat. So I'm excited to try this out. All right, here we go. Yeah, man, that goes good, man. Is that man. what it is? That goes hard, <laughs> man. You have the competing flavors of sweet yep. with the chutney aioli, the savory with the sausage. That's right. And then the yellow onion it gives it that extra added flavor. That is really tasty stuff. Thank I'm really sir. loving the flavor of that sausage, too, man. Thank you very much. Like, that is the star of the show right here. The sausage, <laughs> I want to put this on my grill, you know what I'm saying? That goes hard in the paint. Thank you so much, Vince. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. <laughs> you have Natasha. She is the owner here at Touchies. Thank you so much for having us here. Thank you, Theo, and thank you for visiting us. We really appreciate it. Uh, you know, uh, this is a unique experience for me. I've never, I've never uh, indulged in South African cuisine. Mm -hmm. uh, I've never really even been around South African culture. Since we're talking about, um, you know, my first experience with South African culture, so uh, how about you do me a favor and kind of walk people through the cuisine of South Africa and the culture that you come from? Uh, yeah, when it comes to cuisine, I, I can honestly tell you, we're used to home cooking a lot. Our food is tasty. It's flavorful. We love our sauces with everything. I just in a little bit of time that I've been here, you know, I've seen at least three different parties 
come through. And I mean, just the elation on their face <laughs> yeah. about being around <laughs> South African food again, seeing the packages of some of the South African bottles and sauces and mixes and things of that nature. I mean, I was just talking to a young lady just a couple of minutes ago where she was just so excited because she didn't realize that Dutchies had a market and a restaurant that was also a market. You know, and just the pure excitement from people from South Africa that come here, like, that has to translate to Americans. I, it, it does, and, and you know what, it, it, it touches your heart every time. We kind of get used to it because we see South Africans all day long. Yes. Um, <laughs> and we deal with them the whole day long, and then, you know, you get people that come straight from the airport that just arrived from New York or wherever the case may be, and. They get so excited. Some of them would just start bursting in tears when they walk through oh, the front wow. door, and other people will stand here screaming in the aisles, like so excited, <laughs> like they just hit the lottery, and we would go, what, the, what just happened? <laughs> so, yeah, it is a special place. People, people gather here, and a lot of these folks haven't gone home or sat to back to South Africa in a long, long time. So they say it feels like home to them and we're happy to be able to provide that. <laughs> I love that. So you told me a little bit about South Africa. Now tell me about your journey from South Africa to America. I met an American um, gentleman in South Africa, which I fell in love with. Um, and unfortunately that didn't quite work out. That um, several years later, I was, my, my, I was in the hospitality industry all my life. So the company I was working for uh, transferred me down to uh, Fort Lauderdale. Okay. And that is how I met my current South Africa, South African husband, Isaac, which I love to bits. He is the best guy in the world. And he is my business partner. Um, and has been now for 10 years. So it's an incredible journey. We started out very, very small mm -hmm. in, a, in a little place up the road. We were for six years and everybody said they want real South African food, bunny chow and Gatsby's or burri rolls as we say it and biltong platters and I said well why not so we saddled a horse that I'm not sure we knew exactly how to ride, <laughs> ride it but we got the kitchen and unfortunately right as we wanted to open the kitchen and do our grand opening COVID hit and everything was shut down. Lucky for us, the store was considered um, essential. Okay. So we thought a little bit outside the box and we started making, you know, eat and eat meals and that kind of stuff. So that kept us busy. And, um, you know, our customers kept supporting us. A lot of people were stuck in town, especially like the yachties on the, on the super yachts, etc. And we kept busy and, and we, we survived it. We were very blessed. I love to hear that. I love to hear <laughs> so. that. You know, I mean, so basically, you just had a store, and people were like, nah, man, I want someone to make it for me. <laughs> and then you're like, well, I see a business opportunity here. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And um, we've been here now four years in this new location, and it's, it's fantastic. We really enjoy it. I love it. it. I love it. Yeah. Now, by the way, I'd be remiss if I didn't point out, we're both drinking uh, beverages that hail from South Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, right now I'm drinking a Carling Black Label. And what you got there? I'm drinking a Savannah Dry. Now what is a Savannah Dry? It's a cider. Um, it's not sweet. It's more on the dry side. The ciders that you find in America doesn't come close to this. It is, in most cases, very much a ladies' drink. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, but everybody enjoys it all around and it makes you Think of home. I hear you. Well, I mean, obviously, <laughs> this entire place makes so many people think of home, including the food. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, so um, we're going to go with this first. Tell me what I'm looking at. You're looking at the Biltong Planet. Um, Biltong is South African, uh, well, not, it's a South African religion almost, but it's cured meat. Um, you guys are used to jerky. Yeah. Um, translated, basically, but there's a big difference. There's no nitrates or bad stuff in it. It's all natural, it's air dried, no sugars either. So very healthy for you. It's not like the jerky packets you're gonna find at Walmart. No, no, that's no. gonna hang there for six months and it'll be fine. This is real tasty and soft and flavorful. Um, we love our rugby. We just uh, took the cup home um, not, too, uh, not too long ago. And this is one of the staples that goes with rugby and beer. Oh, no, nice. so, beer, so this, this beer and like... biltong. So this is basically y'all version of wings and beer, like. <laughs> I would say it is. Love it, I love that. <laughs> so 
So how do I eat this? You want to take that. Take a piece of this. A piece of the bread. And you are going to put some of that um, biltong pad thai on there. I love to add a piece of biltong on top of it. Now that is the tomato jam. Okay. Which if you really want to indulge, put the tomato jam on top of that and the biltong on top of that. Cheers. Yeah, nice go. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that's good flavor. Surprisingly sweet. Where's the sweet coming from? The tomato jam. The tomato so jam. So we're basically, okay. we're basically adding the different flavors of the salty mm -hmm. with the sweet and some neutralizer with the bread. Absolutely, that's tasty. Yeah, yeah I it can, is. I can see why people are watching this during the game. <laughs> <laughs> now, what is this big boy right here? That is a very, very popular bunny chow. It is basically a lamb stew with curry in it. Customers can order it mild or hot. <laughs> and like I said earlier to you, people would just, you know, take it with like this and sometimes just eat it like this. But obviously, you're in a restaurant, you don't want to do that. And that is a freshly baked hollowed out bread. Love it. Freshly baked. Mm -hmm. We bake it that. from scratch. Nice, yes. Yes, nice. Yes, yes, we do. Now, what do you season this with? Is there curry in here? There's curry in there, I absolutely. Yeah, I can tell he does his own now. mix with the different curries and masalas and corianders, etc. And that works real well. Let's get this a nice go, get some of this bread, sop up some of this gravy. Wow. Wow. That's a party right there. It sure is. Oh, that's a party. It sure is. <laughs> I mean, me personally, I love curry flavor. Mm -hmm. So getting that, getting a lot of curry in that. The lamb cooked perfectly, nice, tender. Then you got the, is this potatoes up here? We have potatoes in there as well. Love the yep. potatoes, you know, nice flavor. That's Thank good you. stuff. Thank you very much. Absolutely. <laughs> well, you know what, Natasha? I think um, I got to say thank you so much for introducing me to South <laughs> African culture. I hope you'll be back. Ah, well, listen, I can't say no, can I? <laughs> you better not. <laughs> thank you so much for having us. Thank you very much. Thank you, Theo. Much appreciated. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right, guys, so I had a pretty amazing time being exposed to South African cuisine and culture for one of the first times in my life. And I loved hanging out with Isaac and Natasha and hearing about their journey, about how they got from South Africa here to the United States, being out here in South Florida. It was a really great time and we had a good time in today's episode. And I really appreciate everybody for helping along with America's Best Restaurants. But now, I kind of want to hit somebody. I feel like playing rugby probably should go. Anyway, I'm Theo Williams for America's Best Restaurants. Hope to see you.